Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Bellanoia across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and of course go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below and of course you can always go ahead and share this video amongst your family, friends, and co-workers but as you already guessed we're going to be doing a battle of the gripping primers. In this corner, we have the Cover FX. This is the gripping primer and firming face base primer. And in this corner, we have the new release of the Milk Makeup. And this is their Hydro Grip Primer. And this is a face base as well. So, can you tell? Which side? is on which did i use this one on this side and this one on this side or was it this one on this side well hold on let's go or was it this one on this side and this one on this side if you're ready to go ahead and see are these primers actually worth it do they actually work do they actually last does it make a difference with the way your makeup applies and the way your makeup lasts then you already know what to do Let's go ahead and keep watching and let's get into the review. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing really do one. Okay, so we're gonna do a battle of the gripping primers. I was gonna do the J1 Jelly Pack, but we all know how beautiful that gripping primer is. So I wanted to go ahead and do two new release gripping products gripping primers up against each other to see which one works better. The first one, I'm going to go ahead and do the Cover FX Gripping Primer and Firming. And this is your makeup base. And I'm going to pit it up against the Milk Makeup. This is their Hydro Grip Primer and this is another makeup base. And this is what the Milk Primer actually looks like. So we're going to go ahead and do a battle of the gripping primers. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and do the cover FX on this side of my face and the milk on this side of my face. So let's go in here and see how they actually work. I haven't used this one yet, so let's just see how it works. I don't know how much I'll need, so I'll start out with a little bit at first. It feels like a gel. Like if you've ever had to put an acne gel on your face, or anything like that that's exactly what this feels like it is sticky a whole lot stickier than the J1 jelly pack I will tell you that much it is pretty sticky and I am liking that let's go ahead and get this draw on and strangely enough it feels like it's blending right into my actual skin like it's being moisturize and absorb right into my skin. I'm taking the oil off my lips so this way it doesn't actually interfere with how the foundation grips and sticks around my mouth. So I'll just deal with dry lips for a moment. <laughs> the problems, the areas that I have where I use a gripping primer, especially coming into the spring and summertime, around my mouth right here in the corners, the foundation always seems to go away because I'm always talking and smiling. So it's always creasing and going away there and around my nose. I will say, see this? See my face? So it is quite grippy. So I will say, I cover FX, okay, we'll see. Now, I did go ahead and put down a matte primer. I've already washed, cleaned, and moisturized my face. I used, uh, for a moisturizer today, I did use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And for a mattifying primer, I had already put down my Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect. This is another primer base, but this is a mattifying primer base. Since I have oily skin, I know not to even, I'm not even finna play that game. Like, I'm finna just come put on a gripping primer and nothing else and wonder why it didn't work or why the foundation isn't working right. I have oily skin, so I'm always double priming. And this is the Milk Makeup. Let's go ahead and put this on. So this is a whole lot more liquidy. A liquidy. And this smooths out a whole lot further. And it almost feels like it goes on like the Thick Clinique Moisturizing Serum Gel, the Moisture Surge. 
but it spreads out like almost a water moisturizer. You know how like the Peter Thomas Roth, when you put on those moisturizers and they, they are cream, but when you put them on, they feel like water. This has a cooling effect. I don't remember any of the actual claims or anything about a cooling effect for it. Let's go ahead and get that all blended in. And I'm taking just a little bit more down here. And let's see. The milk makeup is a whole lot more stickier. Like this is super sticky. Like super sticky like Yeah, this is super sticky. See the way it's pulling my face? And the other one doesn't pull quite like that. It's sticky, you can see it's pulling. But this one, you see how it just completely pulls my face? Like I'm that, remember the ant roast thing that climbed into that man and put his face on the men in black? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, that's just the first application. You're like, which one feels better? This one feels a whole lot more moisturizing and it actually feels a little bit more um, cooling. I'm not really sure where that cooling effect is coming in from, but this feels super cooling. This one, it's, it's, it's cool too, but this one had an immediate cooling effect. And when you're doing makeup, you always wanna be as cool as possible because makeup just goes on better in cooler environments versus hot, humid environments. So that way your skin isn't oily or sweaty. So happy about that i'm gonna go ahead and put on the actual foundation and that's talking then <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation i'm using the mac nc46 studio fix fluid with spf 15 and this is what it looks like let's go ahead and get out of shake and of course it doesn't come with a pump i should have bought my mac pump to go on it i have to buy a mac pump so i'm saying maybe this is like two Two pumps, my little Tarte foundation uh, eyeshadow brush that I always use to put product on. I'm gonna go ahead and go in on this side just to see how the product blends and sticks to the face. So that's two pumps on that one side. I'm using my Morphe M439. You know the brush that Jaclyn Hill introduced us all to. So let's go ahead and go in here. And let's start buffing it in. Since I know this is one of my favorite foundations, I know it'll work well. Now I'm just seeing how does it stick and blend up against this particular product. And I'm gonna need a little bit more on that side of my face. So I would say I use two full pumps on this side of my face. And that's what we look like with two pumps of the MAC on this side of my face. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. And I will say that that primer had the MAC foundation dry pretty quickly. And I know the foundation is still drying, but I'm not getting much coming off on my hand. And it's still a little sticky. So we'll see. And I will say that that side of the face, you see how smooth it is? I mean, that has a lot to do with the MAC foundation too. It's not, it's not trip. That has a lot to do with the MAC foundation too. But I will say that is super smooth. Girl, I'm just gonna go hang out. Now let's go ahead and do the other side of the face with the milk makeup on it. And let's just see how it reacts with the milk makeup. I'm gonna say that's about two more pumps on this side of my face. And I still got that much stuff on the back of my hand. Okay, so I went a little ham with putting it on my forehead, maybe a little bit too much foundation on my forehead. Pull back, Liam, pull back. And the rest of the foundation on the back, I'll just wipe that off with a makeup wipe. 
so so far this is the cover FX side it's almost like it has a slight blurring effect on it and this is the milk makeup side Looking straight on at it, let's see. The cover FX is still sticky, and this side is still sticky too as well. So we'll try to see how long it actually takes to dry down, if it actually dries down. But so far, they're both stunning, pretty. They're they're both they're both beautiful. I don't have any issues or problems with either one. I was trying to see if one would actually stick more. A little random glitters on my cheek and stuff. Hey, it happens when you have glitter eyeshadow. But I was just trying to see if anything would kind of just stand out more. And the Milk Maid makeup just felt more hydrating and way more stickier. But I guess for this one, the true test of time will be a wear test. So I'll come back in and close it out with you guys. And we'll try to go ahead and see... Does the cover XX side work better for me? Or does the milk makeup side work better for me? We shall see. Let's go ahead and give it a wear test because that's the only way I'm going to be able to tell, hey, truly, guys, get this one or get this one because it's a price difference in between the two. So we'll be back. Okay, so if you've made it to this part, you've already had a chance to look at the demo of actually both products. And the one thing I will tell you about both products is they're both amazing. They're both phenomenal. I have oily skin and I've had the makeup on for about five hours now. I'm not seeing any of my oils breaking through. That may have something to do with the matte primer that I actually use, but I'm not having any type of transfer issues with the actual makeup coming off on my hands on either side of my face. I'm not having any issues. Like it's not transferring, you know, to a, an extreme amount. Because I did go ahead and set my face with powders and also with setting spray. You know, I may have a little bit transfer that comes through. But no. Let me turn it down. Let me show you what just happened. On the napkin. You see that? Absolutely nothing came off on the napkin. Nothing came off on the napkin and for the longest time guys told you guys there's no such thing as transfer proof Makeup period, but I don't know if it's a combination of these primers with the Mac studio fix foundation that I actually use or the setting spray that I actually use I actually set my face today guys with the makeup finishes spray the bridal um, version from Scandinavia. So I don't know if all four products worked and combined together to really create this face that for the first time didn't transfer on a white Kleenex. I'm, I'm blown away. I will say this one felt more hydrating on the actual face and it did give this cooling tingling effect as it went on and it stayed that way for about three to four minutes and then it went away. This one felt cool as it was uh, being applied to the face just because of the consistency of the gel. They're both beautiful products. They're both are actually going to give you one milliliter. Are they both one milliliter? Let me look. Let me make sure before I tell you guys. No, I'm sorry. The Cover FX, the Cover FX is one milliliter of product and the Milk Makeup is going to be 1.52 fluid ounces. So this is what I will tell you. For her hands down, dollar for dollar, pound for pound, they're both great and amazing. I haven't had any issues or problems with my makeup. My makeup still looks beautiful, you know, personally, me. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I haven't had any problems or issues. I am going to keep both. I am not returning either primer to the store because I absolutely love the way these grip my makeup. And today was a pretty warm day today in Atlanta. And I did have to go out and run a few errands. So I just really wanted to be out in the environment, you know, start a pollen season, sneezing, coughing, all of that, and really test both of these actual primers. And I know coming into spring and definitely coming into summer, a gripping primer on oily skin, or if you have combination skin, a gripping primer is going to be your best friend. Best friend. But I would almost suggest that if you have dry skin, 
or even in the spring and summertime if you still have dry skin like it doesn't go normal combination or oily then i would tell you to go ahead and get the milk makeup the hydro blur primer because the hydro grip primer i'm sorry because this one is a tad bit more moisturizing and for me i was just like I was blown away. Plus, this one gives you 1.5 the amount of product as this, and this one is actually cheaper than this one. So overall, I it's it's a toss up. They're both approved by Lynn, 100% approved by Lynn. Like these are both going to be on my repurchase list. I would tell you guys to go ahead and wait, if at all possible, for the Sephora VIB sale that's coming up, and get your 15% off the actual product. But if you want it, you got to have it now. I will tell you to go ahead and get this one because, again, this is going to give you 1.52 ounces. It's a little bit stickier, but it grip just the same as the actual Cover FX. And both of these primers are actually better than the J1 Jelly Pack Primer. And that one is about $10 more expensive than both of these are anyway. I think that one's like $52, $54. This one's in the 40s and this one's in the 30s. So overall, pound for pound, you would want to go ahead and get this one, but you can't go wrong with either one. So if this one is sold out and you can't get your hands on it, get this. If this one is sold out and you can't get your hands on it, get this. So hopefully you guys have been able to see something that will make your makeup last longer, not slide off, really withstand the test of time throughout your days. If you're going to concerts, to barbecues, you're going out to the lake, to the beach, you're going on vacation, get one of these primers, if not both, and really know that your makeup is going to be secure. But we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. And you already know, I don't care when you watch me, whether it's the morning, afternoon, evening, or late at night. <laughs> I'm just happy that you came to spend some time with your girl. And as you already know, YouTube, thank you. And until next time, have a great day.